You know, for almost two years, a former Kingfisher student and a current high school football coach have been battling in federal court over abuse allegations. Well, now the state superintendent, Ryan Walters, and the State Department of Education have been added to that lawsuit. News Force Kaylee Olivas is back on the story tonight. Well, State Superintendent Ryan Walters and the Oklahoma State Department of Education have now been named in a federal lawsuit for allowing the coach in question to keep his job. Now, the Oklahoma Supreme Court is being asked to step in and fire him. The coaches knew about it, condoned it, encouraged it, bet on it, you know, even arranged the, the boxing and the fighting matches in, in the ring. We are hearing from former player Mason Mecklenburg's dad for the first time since the federal lawsuit was filed in 2022. His son allegedly forced to fight other players and much worse. Through Mason's freshman year as he was repeatedly whipped and beaten to the point of bleeding multiple times. Mason was allegedly sexually assaulted by other players. His dad saying the coach who was still in charge of the football team today knew about it. There are multiple statements where these players, these teammates of Mason's made comments like one of them said, if they did to me what they did to Mason, I would have killed myself. The federal lawsuit asks for $10 million and the firing of the coach who condoned this quote toxic hazing that dates back to the early 2000s. Neither have happened so far. So now the Mecklenburg's attorneys are going after the State Department of Education and State Superintendent Ryan Walters for negligent behavior. A former Kingfisher School Board member questions why it hasn't already happened. This is one reason I ran for school board, right. to get rid of this Right. And I said, my should have been gone a long time ago. OSDE tells News 4 in part, quote, It is ridiculous that Ryan Walters is named party in a lawsuit that alleges problems that far precede his term of office. Mason's dad is frustrated the coach can carry on while his son is scarred for life. It's unacceptable. Fire him. He does not deserve to be coaching our youth. In Kingfisher, Kaylee Olivas, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Kaylee, thank you. Now, we did follow up with the State Department of Education if they plan to fire the coach, but have yet to hear back. We've reached out to the school district's attorneys as well as the coaches, but so far nothing. Everyone involved in this case is expected in federal court in September.